Hello everybody and welcome to another Vintage Fans and More video review brought to you today by Maxim Lighting. This is a very exciting video. I've wanted to work with one of these Vandalier products and introduce them to you since the first products launched a couple of years ago. Since the initial launch, Maxim has expanded the collection to include nine designs, all of which have been on the market for some time now. So while today isn't about the newest products coming to market, we are covering products that deserve some exposure. Maxim Lighting is a family company Company with decades of experience in the lighting business. After my last trip to Lightovation and some great conversation in the Maxim showroom, I've really found a place in my heart for this brand. I will admit that like many in this industry, I'm a little bit hesitant at first when lighting companies start diving into fan products. Launching into new product categories doesn't always go well for the lighting industry, so I do have to hold some reservations going into something like this. After seeing the Fandeliers in person at Lightovation, I did have some comments confidence in the product, but I had no idea how good they really were until I had my hands on one. This specific motor and blade setup that Maxim is sourcing, I feel is hands down one of the best Vandalier products on the market. So with that being said, let's head into those technical details. Today I've been provided with the Weave Fandelier. It's my personal favorite out of all the designs. While each model is unique in design, they all share pretty much the same technical specifications. So I'll be going back and forth a little bit, sharing details specific to the Weave as well as the entire Fandelier line. Starting with the size, the entire frame of the Weave is about 33 inches across. All of the other options in the line vary in frame size, but they're all in that general range. The fan inside has a 22 inch blade span which is the same across all models. The blades on these fans are a very unique curved sheet of plastic. They're designed to provide maximum surface area which translates into maximum air movement. All of the fandeliers are listed as moving 5057 cubic feet of air per minute at high speed. The fandeliers utilize a DC motor. At high speed excluding the lights these motors utilize about 32 watts. They definitely drive a good amount of air movement at low power use. The weave features a two-toned mixed metal finish combination with bronze gilt on the outside and gold leaf on the inside. Integrated as the light source is a 46 watt, 4158 lumen LED strip. The color temperature is a warm 3000 Kelvin and the color rendering index is 80 plus. The light portion is dimmable when enabled from the remote. Speaking of the remote, included is a full function handheld remote control. This control enables the six fan speeds, full range light dimming, and reverse functions. It also has advanced fan functions like the 1, 3, or 6 hour sleep timer, as well as the natural breeze function. Natural breeze automatically alternates the fan speed to mimic an outdoor breeze. With all the technical stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and light it up. As usual in my reviews, this is the dimmest setting because it shows up best on video. Now before I move any further into the fan and air movement related portions of this product, I do want to stop and just talk about how beautiful these products are. Maxim Lighting has been in the business for a long time. They produce very high quality products and really bring that luxury factor to their designs. I particularly love the Weave series because it's a very unique design factor. It's Kind of a rustic meets contemporary vibe. The integrated LED factor is very clean and modern, but then you have the high contrast of the outer metal work. It's a little asymmetrical and has imperfections. Each piece of metal is curved a little bit differently. The interior gold finish feels luxurious and elegant, while the outer bronze finish brings a newer, cleaner look to the design. It's a very nice contrast and plays perfectly into the mixed metals look, which is very popular right now. Those aspects really are the beauty of a well executed fan product from a lighting brand. You get the true essence of a quality lighting product with the benefit of a fan element. And when the fan element is as good as what Maxim has put into their products, you have a real winner. So now I've gone ahead and put the fan on low speed. First and foremost, I have to say how impressed I am with this low speed. In recent years, we have been seeing better speed selection with DC motors, but for such a small fan inside of these Fandeliers, I am so impressed with how aesthetically slow it is. I don't think anybody here was really trying to achieve that, considering the fan is inside of the frame and the entire thing is supposed to be aesthetic, but coming at it from a fan enthusiast perspective and as someone who likes an aesthetic low speed, I very much appreciate what they've accomplished 
finished here. Due to that blade design, even at a slower low speed, it is kicking out a nice decent breeze. I think that's the real reason why it is this slow in order to produce a nice gentle breeze. If it were going any faster at low speed, you could hardly call the amount of air movement low speed anymore. Overall, I just could not be more impressed. I think both the speed and the air movement are perfection. Something else that I love about this particular model, whether it's in motion or not, is how much visual interest it has at different angles. Whether you look at it directly from the side, directly from below, or anywhere in between, it always looks a little bit different. The imperfections in the frame, the choice of finishes, and the way the lighting was done are really the aspects that make this model a joy to look at. This model does not really have the light output to light an entire space. It's more of an accent piece. It would best be paired with recessed cans or other portable lighting sources to form an entire lighting design. If you're looking for true light output for general lighting in your space, there are other Fandelier options that can suit that need better. So you're not totally out of luck in regards to Fandeliers for general lighting, but your options are more limited. That's not necessarily a bad thing because there are options to suit both ends of the spectrum. Another thing to consider is looking at the entire Fandelier category as a whole. There aren't a great many options that I would say are fantastic at light output. I would actually say that Maxim has more options for actual light output than many do, so they might have that going for them. I think in any case, the function of the fan paired with the function of the light is a really perfect perfect match. Not all light sources are designed to perform general lighting function, so I'm not going to hold Fandeliers to any different standard. On a similar note, if you don't like integrated LED, you don't think it's reliable, or don't want to make that commitment, there are Fandelier options available with replaceable lamping. Again, those options are a little bit more limited, but they are there if that's a defining factor for you. At this point, I'm really neither here nor there on the integrated LED topic. I still prefer a replaceable option but integrated is here and it's not going anywhere. So as far as I'm concerned, that is what it is. Now I've moved up to high speed and the air movement is impressive to say the least. What I really like about this product compared to other Fandelier setups that I've seen and worked with is that it actually moves air like a ceiling fan. A lot of other Fandelier products on the market mount what is essentially a portable fan into a frame that can be suspended from the ceiling. There are many such products out there that I like very much. Many of them have very good quality quality components and fantastic motors. However, since they are built like a portable fan, they also move air like a portable fan. Speed control is usually nowhere near what Maxim's Fandeliers have achieved, and the air movement is usually concentrated directly under the fixture as a directional portable fan would be. Those fans, like their portable counterparts, can also be a little bit noisy at higher speeds. Maxim's Fandeliers are essentially silent. I am getting a little bit of an air movement noise, but considering how much airflow is coming out of this fan, I am so amazed at how quiet it is. This is truly impressive and I think pretty groundbreaking. I work with and love a lot of companies and products, but with the amount of investment and expansion that Maxim has put into this product line, I truly feel that they have this niche of the industry nailed down. They do have some limitations. Downrod length is a big one. They include an 8 inch downrod and have extensions up to, I believe, 36 or 48 inches. I'm not sure that I would put this type of fixture on a really high ceiling with a super long downrod regardless, but the option to potentially do so would be nice. With the design of this fan, the receiver does plug in and connect at the canopy, so I do understand that there can be some complications with longer downrods in doing that, but that is the one major critical point that I can speak to. Once again, I think these fandeliers strike the perfect balance between luxury lighting and quality ceiling fan air movement. Now I'm going to send you off to see all of the exquisite detailing on the Weave Fandelier, and I will be back at the end of the video.
Welcome back. I've shut the fan down and we'll wrap this up. Maxim Lighting has truly, quite literally, blown me away with these fandeliers. The airflow is superb for this product category and the build quality is what I would only expect from a high-end company like Maxim. These products are fantastic, hands down some of the best fandeliers on the market. They do retail on the pricey end, but I think every penny is worth it if this is the kind of fixture you're looking for. I truly feel that these are some of the best that money can buy. I have to offer such a huge thank you to Maxim Lighting for making today's video possible. Given my background on the fan end and their background on the lighting end, we aren't exactly a traditional fit, but I think for this product, we made the perfect match. As always, I'm gonna link everything for Maxim Lighting down below. They're posting constantly on social media and I love their Instagram page in particular, so make sure you go check all of that out. While you're down there, you can also check out all of my social media links and follow me everywhere. Subscribe and hit that notification bell before you leave so that you get updated for all of my new videos. I have some great product reviews coming up for the remainder of the year. One more thank you to Maxim Lighting. I so appreciate working with you guys. Thank you all for watching today, and I will see you next time.